May 13th, today is the day we celebrate the anniversary of Fatima, third secret. This is where Comet 12P is still in Constellation Oregonus. By Rigel, the foot of Orion, and right here, this right here is called the Witch Nebula, because it looks like a witch. It's right near there, and I want to point out something right here. Okay, this is the best I can line it up. Just want to say the sun, and right behind the sun is Uranus. You got Jupiter, and you got Venus moving in. This I want to take it to June 2nd, but before I get to June 2nd, on May 18th, you have it basically by the foot of Rigel by Orion, Comet 12P. Then right here, you got a kind of like a weird alignment. You got the sun. Uh, remember, Uranus is right behind the sun, right? You got the sun, Uranus, Jupiter. Jupiter and Venus. Uranus is behind the sun, so we can't we can't see it as we close up. That'd be one, two, three, four. Let's take it now. To, okay, on June second, this is what we're gonna have. Remember, Soho is looking right at the sun, so we're gonna have the sun, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, and Uranus. So that's a total of five, all in the Taurus constellation. Looking at space weather today. Okay, this is what we're looking at. Right here, we got Venus. Over here, we got Jupiter. There's the sun. And there's the Palladius, the Seven Sisters, showing up right here. So what you're seeing here is the Taurus constellation, like you saw. And then we got probably Uranus back here somewhere behind the sun, somewhere in this neck of the woods. So that's basically what you're looking at. We're looking at Taurus. So today we celebrate the anniversary of Fatima. May 13th, 1917. So here we are 15 hours ago. We had a strong 666, which connects with the constellation with the comet located at, which is located to clean near Witch Head Nebula. And there's a excellent video here. The nebula is located in the upper right side of the star or 2.6 degrees to the right out of a fairy tale. The Witch Head Nebula is a reflection nebula. It means that this giant cloud is illuminated. Coincidence, isn't it? That it happens to be by the witch head. And there's more about that constellation. Eridanus uh, is actually the the deacon of the constellation Taurus. Taurus is... This link right here, this video, if you look where the pointer's at, basically 666, right next to the witch head, the witch face. During when... Uh, the comet entered this constellation. That's when we we had all those X classes. There was a message being sent out here. I don't know, but the comets do have stories to tell, and it's fascinating, it's coincidental that all this ties in with the event that's happening now around the world and among the the people.